rainbow jello flavored sugar cookies. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo bags 12. Hello, everyone. First, we're going to start off with a pretty basic sugar cookie recipe. That's one and a half cups of butter that's been softened. And then you're going to add to that one cup of sugar and blend that together until it's light and fluffy. Then add in an egg and beat that well, as well as a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Once that's blended, add in a teaspoon of a baking powder and three and one half cups of all purpose flour. Add it in a little bit at a time until you have a fairly stiff dough. If you don't have a really strong mixer, you might have to add in that last part of flour by hand. Then divide that dough equally into six portions. I put them into individual bowls and then you're going to add in two tablespoons of jello powder and I used six different flavors. Now originally I thought that the jello was going to tint this dough quite nicely but as you can see it doesn't. I added in two tablespoons of yellow and it didn't really change the color of the dough at all. So I had to cheat a little bit if you want to call it that by adding in a drop of paste food coloring and then I kneaded that in until I reached the color that I wanted. You don't have to add the food coloring if you don't want to, but as you can see, that's two tablespoons of the grape flavored jello. It really doesn't change the color of the dough very much. So for each of the different doughs, I did add in a little bit of food coloring just to intensify that color a little bit. Once I was done, I took each of those portions of dough and I rolled it out into a log shape that was about 12 inches long. Now, if you want smaller cookies than what I'm making, I suggest you cut each of those dough portions in half and roll them out to 12 inches, except that dough tube will be just a little bit smaller. Now, I want to try to put these in kind of rainbow order. So I put the red and the orange together. I just painted it a little bit with milk and then added the yellow on top. And the milk is just going to help bind all those dough logs together. And I continue to do this and what I did is I put the yellow log in the center, put the other colors around it to make it kind of look like a flower. Now just be gentle with the, the dough because it will be soft and it's going to want to break into pieces. But if you take your time um, and use a little bit of milk to hold everything together, you should be fine. Once I put all those log pieces together, I wrapped it in plastic wrap and then I put it in the refrigerator and I allowed it to chill for several hours. I left mine in the refrigerator for at least five or six hours, actually overnight. And then the next day when I baked these, the dough log that I ended up with was nice and firm. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for something that's very firm, that's gonna be easy to slice. And there they are sliced up. I took a sharp knife, sliced that chilled dough log into about a quarter to a half inch slices, put them on a cookie sheet that's covered with a silicone mat or that's been greased. And you're going to bake them at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes, depending on the size of your cookie until they are set and the bottoms and edges are just a tiny bit brown. And there they are. They are baked. Uh, you can see the color doesn't change very much. It's just very lightly brown on the edges. And the texture of these is a little bit crunchy, a little bit chewy. And they taste like jello flavor. So they're very fruity flavored cookies. And as you can see, they're quite large. So that's why I suggest you might want to break each of those dough balls in half, roll them out into thin logs, and then you'll get end up with a smaller cookie at the end. I have other rainbow goodies on my channel and you can find them on my rainbow playlist by clicking on your screen or by looking for that little eye on the top right hand corner and that'll bring you to my channel. Thanks for watching. My friends from littlethings.com have very nicely agreed to post my video on their Facebook page as well as on their website. So if you've never heard of littlethings.com, go check them out. They have amazing videos and stories as well as news from around the world. It's the little things in life that matter the most.